Hey everyone, welcome back to Tip of the Week. For this week's video, I want to show you how you can use split toning inside On One Photo Raw 2019. So we're first going to apply the split toning filter to a landscape shot. And I really like applying split toning to waterfalls because it allows me to modify the color and tone for my highlights so that I can remove any blue or green color cast off my water. So to add split toning, I'm just going to head into my effects tab here. I'm going to add a filter and I'll add split tone. Your split tone filter allows you to modify your highlight and shadow colors separately. This way you can create a nice unique look or you can use it to correct color. For this photo, I'm noticing that this area in the water here is a little bit too cool for my liking. So I'm gonna to need to modify my highlight color to correct that. So I'll just head into my split tone filter and in this highlights, I'm gonna choose a different color with my color picker here. I'm gonna drag this over into a more green, sort of light blue area. And now I need to correct the color around my shadowy areas. There's quite a bit of blue overcast on my shot. So I'll just head over to my filter and in my shadow area, I'm gonna pick a different color and I'm gonna drag it up into a more warm sort of orange green color area. And now if I turn the split tone filter off and on, you'll see it does a good job of removing that blue color cast from my photo. So now we're going to apply split toning to a portrait, but this time we're gonna focus less on correcting color and more on adding a stylistic look. So let's go into our effects tab. I'll add a filter and we'll add split tone. And if I turn the split tone filter off and on, it's already doing a good job of correcting that color, but I really wanna bring in a nice stylistic, almost faded look to my shot. So to do that, I'm first gonna go into my mode option here. This is gonna house all of my blending modes for the split tone filter. I'm actually gonna choose this normal mode, which means there's no blending at all. It just means that whatever color you pick for your highlights and shadows is just overlaid on top of your photo, giving us this nice faded matte look. And now I can pick the colors for my highlights and shadows. For my highlights, I wanna remove some of that orange from her face. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna pull this color over to a neutral sort of blue green color. And then I wanna remove some of that orange from this area on the brick and sort of darken it a little bit. So I'm gonna go into my shadow color and I'm gonna drag this color into a dark blue area. And now that we've picked the colors for our highlights and shadows, we can modify them using our split tone filter. So for my highlights, I actually want them to be a bit more blue in the hue. So I'm gonna use this hue slider here and I'm gonna pull them over to that blue area. Then I'm gonna use this amount slider to add in just a little bit more of that color. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head down to my shadow area and I'm gonna pull up on that amount as well to bring in a little bit more of that dark blue. So now that we've modified our highlight and shadow color and brought on the amounts that we want, the last thing I wanna do is I'm gonna go up to this balance slider here and I'm gonna pull up on it to even out the balance between my highlights and my shadow colors. So now watch as I turn the split tone filter off and on. It brings in a nice stylistic look and remove some of those color casts that I didn't want. 